That's right, and Latarian Milton spent about 10 minutes in court this morning. He learned that he will not be able to go home anytime soon. He will have to wait to hear from the judge the next court date. What's going on, family? Welcome to the Mysterious Black Bandit. As usual, let me show my gratitude for all the love and support, especially to those who have been with me from the beginning. And if you're new, welcome to the best mysterious true crime and gangster channel on YouTube. Now, I know my last few videos haven't got that many views, but they are still great videos. So stick with me and I promise you, you'll love this channel. All right, with that being said, if you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. And when you have done all that, let's get to the video. Now, I know as a kid, we have all done some pretty crazy and wild things. And heck, I remember just about every other day on a school bus ride home, me and my little homeboy, we used to sit in the back of the bus and wait until we seen cars passing on the other side of the road and threw out Skittles to hit that windshield wipers. Now, I know that's a little crazy, but yeah, we, we've all done some crazy things. But I don't think it can compare to what this little kid did. Do y'all remember seeing this little dude on the news or on YouTube a long time ago? Well, if you don't, check out this video and let's see where he is today. Latarian Milton was born on September 30th, 2001 in Palm Beach, Florida to his 16 year old mother, Shaniqua Milton, and there isn't much information on the father. Now, as I was reading about Latarian's mother, it said that she suffered from drug issues and also had a lot of run-ins with the law, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. But despite all that, Latarian and his mother lived with his grandmother, Zakita Stratford, who took care of him for most part of his childhood. And one source stated that from the looks of things, Latarian didn't have the best upbringing. By the age of just seven, he allegedly already smoked and had developed a criminal mindset. Now, on April 27, 2008 is when he took a turn for the worse. Latarian was at home bored and wanted to have one of his friends come over to watch some cartoons with him. So he asked his mother if he would be allowed to have company, but she declined his request. And this is when little Latarian got upset and he started yelling and screaming at his mother. And after several minutes of going back and forth, his mother scolded him and told him, since you want to be grown, you can get up out this house. Angry and wanting to get back at his mother, seven-year-old Latarian grabbed his grandmother's keys to her Dodge Durango SUV, and him and his friend went on a little joy ride. Latarian Milton is not your typical seven-year-old. Few his age have ever driven an SUV up and down several busy streets. It all started at his mother's townhouse. Latarian says he took the car keys and hopped into his grandmother's Dodge Durango. When I came through the back door, I looked on the counter, my keys were gone. I took my grandma car because I got mad at my mom, and then I saw him and had my friend come in, and he smoked with cigarettes. He started the vehicle and put it into gear. I, hit, I yanked the, I yanked it, I yanked the um thing. I want to do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things to drive into a car. But did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do her stuff for my friend. Now, you don't think you should be punished for all of this? Just a little bit, no video games for a whole weekend. And one unusual story for police. Uh, this joker said he wanted to do hood rat stuff with his friends. As you can see, him and his friend drove several miles through Palm Beach, Florida, destroying people's mailboxes, ran into two moving vehicles near Walmart, and then crashed into several parked cars in Costco parking lot. Like most kids that are questioned by adult would be probably afraid or show some type of fear, but Latarian didn't show any signs of remorse until the police officer explained to him that not only what he did was wrong, but it could have seriously injured someone or himself, and worse, it could have taken someone's life. Eventually, little Latarian apologized to everyone that was involved, including his grandmother, for destroying her vehicle. I'm sorry what I did to my grandma's truck, and I'm sorry what I did to all you people in the hospital. And I love you, and I hope you be impressed. Although I'm sure his mother and grandmother knew that this incident would be seen pretty much by everyone in Palm Beach area, but I can guarantee they didn't expect for it to go this far. Within just a few days, Latarian Milton became an instant internet star. That infamous interview was uploaded to YouTube and sparked several memes and parody videos immediately going viral. But this wasn't the last time Latarian was going to make the news. In fact, on May 12, 2008, just two weeks after his first incident, Latarian drew the attention from the media once again. But this time, it was for beating on his grandmother in a Lake Park Walmart. It started hitting me. It started hitting me in front of the whole Walmart and Everyone in there was upset, in my stomach, in my legs, where, wherever he could reach me, that's where he hit me. After this incident, he was all over the media yet again, but this time it was taken serious. 
he was actually taken in by the authorities for a mental health evaluation before he was returned home to his grandmother. In June of that same year, him and his grandmother was invited to make an appearance on the Judge Judy show, but after the judge found out that her staff tried to convince the grandmother to sue her own daughter for the damage Latarian caused to her vehicle and canceled the invitation. By 2010, he had made an appearance on the Tosh.0 comedy show, where Latarian showed Daniel Tosh how to do hood rat things, and then he later allowed him to redeem himself by getting into another vehicle to have a joyride around the city. In that same year, the popular cartoon called Boondocks made an episode called Smoking Cigarettes. On this particular episode, an eight-year-old in Milton picked up Riley and his grandmother's stolen SUV and drove around the city, destroying many obstacles in their way. But after a while of destroying the whole city, the SUV came to a complete stop when it hit a speed bump at high speed with the police surrounding them and drawing their weapons, but quickly after seeing that they were children, they lowered their guns. Now for a while, Latinian stayed out the spotlight and continued to live a normal life, but by the age of 15, he made the news again, but this time, it wasn't for doing bad stuff. It was for graduating John F. Kennedy Middle School in Riviera Beach, Florida. In a report, Latinian shared his ambition to go to high school and college, and also stating that he wished to play football or go to the Navy to explore engineering and technology. While it looked like Latinian had finally turned his life in the right direction and was pursuing his dreams since the road rampage, he caught himself in the headlines yet again for the wrong reasons. In June of 2017, it was reported that a Lyft driver had picked up a woman and four men, which also included Latarian. And after dropping the woman off at her apartment, Latarian and the three other guys wanted him to take them to a different location. But since the request was not made on the app, the driver denied it. And this is when one of his friends named Joseph threatened the driver at gunpoint and forced him out the car after stealing his jacket, wallet, and iPhone. Then Latarian, who was in the passenger seat, jumped into the driver's seat and took off. The Lyft driver immediately reported the case to the police and gave them the number of the person who booked the Lyft, which turned out to be Latarian. On a Sunday afternoon, Latarian was arrested and was facing charges of carjacking with a firearm, burglary, and committing a felony with the firearm. Since he was 16 at the time, he was charged as an adult on a burglary charge and was held in a juvenile detention center without bond. By the grace of God, after his court date, he was able to avoid jail time and was sentenced to community supervision for four years. Despite this mishap, Latane would go on to graduate and receive his diploma at the Palm Beach Garden Community High School and one source stated that he went off to college to try to gain a college degree. As of today, it is said that Latane still lives in Palm Beach, Florida and works at a music management company. And that will bring this video to an end, my good people. Now, I can't lie, when I first seen this little dude on the news and YouTube talking about he wanted to do hood rat stuff with his friends, and then on top of that saying he liked to do bad things because it's fun, I didn't think that he was going to make it very far. In fact, I thought he was going to be locked up somewhere. But I'm so glad that he's grew out of that phase and is doing well for himself. And if you're watching, young man, keep on growing. All right, family, I hope all you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn on that doggone, turn on that alert for your boy. I'm not sure what's going on, but if you're not getting alerted for this and you have the notification bell on, go back in and redo it Make, just to see if it works. I don't know. But anyway, everyone, y'all go out and have a wonderful and great day. And until next time, stay mysterious, my friend. But anyway, everyone, y'all go out and have a wonderful and great day. And until next time, stay mysterious, my friends.